You ready for your five rounds of four minutes of heaven? I gotta stop grabbing that thing to fidget. I've noticed I'm a fidgeter. And it's not good that I keep doing. That's cool. I should uh, not fidget as much. I've said that too many times now. Uh, Cordoba, this is Spain. We had a Cordoba on the last one too, but that was Argentina. I'm calling it because of this highway system here. And that Spanish people, there's the E5 and the A4 to Cordoba. Clicking here. Valdepinus. Look for a Valdepinus. Well, if they, they're the same road, so it's got to be this chunk here. Let's look for Valdepinus. Anyway, it's Friday for you people. Um, that is so far away from me. I' not looking forward to how the week's going to go. I can't really discuss because it's a work thing and I actually cannot. That was a weird jump. Discuss work things just because it was. This is, I want to see what this is. I'm going to go up here just because it's a, uh, well, I said up here. Can I, can I get up there? I cannot. Okay, I guess I can't. Uh, there's certain things I can't talk about and work is one of them because I actually had to sign a thing saying I can't say what I do for work. So, A4 for Madrid. So, Madrid is that way. So, we're actually... Well, this goes to Madrid, but it also goes to Cordoba first. Actually, yeah, E4, A, the, the Valdepinus, and Madrid. All right, let's, let's E5 and A4. A40, okay, E5, A4, Valdepinus is here. But that's making me dumb trying to think of this. I'm just uh, do yeah. I'm gonna click here. Let me let me hit home. I feel like there's there's some things I'm missing here. Um, let's go up a bit and just take a look. Well, this road is different now. Okay. All right. Maybe some things. I'm about to hit home again and look at that sign so I can uh. Area Cerrado. What's this road say? All right, let's 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 orient ourselves. Uh, men. Okay, Madrid is heading this way. Cordoba is heading back this way. So we're in the middle here. As there's Menzanares, Cordoba. So heading that way to Cordoba. So we're like here. Val and I gotta look for Val. Dep penis. I have lost whatever I was comp oh the work stuff just because Valdepinus. Well, that's D O. So I'm gonna click up Manzanares and Madrid is that way. Valdepinus is off of here. So I'm gonna click here. I didn't get to it in time. I would have got such a higher score because I was about to click there, but I forgot about time. That's my own fault. Sukawati. I feel like I've had that. I don't know where this is. I almost thought that was an American flag and I was going to be like... A little thrown. Um, although that's an American flag. American spring bed. I don't think we actually have that bed here. Mega Inda, Pega Daily, and that's a nerd. Hmm, what is this? 
Like, I feel like this is India, but it's, it's probably not. Hmm. Anyway, I don't know if you're one of the people who go to work. There's a couple of different types of person, at least in office uh, environments. You get the person who 100% involves themselves in like all sorts of gossip they can. It's just what they do. It's, they, they, it's how they help themselves pass the time at work. Just the person who always says, you didn't hear this from me or keep this a secret or don't tell anyone, you know, stuff like that. And clearly, number one, they didn't follow their own. This is Indonesia. This is South Asia. Southeast Asia. I'm just going to click like Malaysia for now and maybe go from there. But they're always like, don't tell anyone. You didn't hear this from me or this is a badass Spider-Man car. And clearly they don't even follow their own rules. And it just feels like a thing to either like establish that connection between. So I'm telling you this thing. I have trust for you. You should trust me back. Like one of those things. Or like, just be, I'm telling you this in the confidence that you will accept me as your friend because this is the only way I know how to actually get people to like me. I'm being a little subjective here, but I'm also a bit annoyed too. I really wish I knew what this was. World Dragon Mobile sounds cool as fuck. Indo Maret, so Indonesia, huh? I don't know what country. I'll just or island. I'll just click that one, and we'll go from there. A lot of Asus, huh? Well, they do more than just PCs, I guess, because that's all I hear them for. All right, since I think I've got the country, I'm going to see if I can start absorbing things here. But anyway, I'm I'm I guess I'm the archetype of I don't care. What am I work? I'm just there to do my work. I'm there. I'm paid to get that stuff. You want to morph work into something else more than just getting there, doing your work, and leaving. I mean, yeah, you can talk to people, hang out a bit, be friendly and cordial, but just don't always be backbiting and back talking. The second they leave earshot, you just start goss gossiping about them to somebody else. I mean, what's the point? You're just bad-mouthing other people behind their backs to other people to make themselves feel better, and I don't know why people who talk to those people in any sort of way of just being like, yeah, I get it, I understand. Oh, preach on, girlfriend. Don't understand that. They're probably doing the same thing about you. And I know that this this is also a level of like paranoia you can have where you always think people are talking about you behind your back. But just know that being involved in that type of world it kind of just it's it's a thing that's going to happen to you um don't know what this is hello flag you are not a country the only thing that's red is turkey or switzerland and i don't think this is either because the climate doesn't match okay that's just a flag for phone cards no I don't know. Very messy. Take a broom, sweep up the sweep up the dirt road. Where was I going just complaining about work? I mean, I'm doing it right now complaining about work to you. I really shouldn't because it's dumb. You don't care. I'm sure that your work, you can enjoy it. I mean, not every job has to be like, I'm doing this just so I can afford to do things outside of work. I mean, there are people who genuinely love their job, and if they do, is that a Canadian flag? No. You generally enjoy your job. Congratulations. You're one of the, maybe not few, but you're one of the people who found uh, enjoyment in the thing you do for 40 hours, plus or minus, give or take. I don't know what this, what, what country this is, and I feel like at home, let's let's orientate myself. Okay, we went that way. Let's wait. I did go this way. Huh? Let's just go out of this road and hopefully find some stuff that'll help me. Or 
like this is many Central and or South American. Uh, they sell Din Din here. I've seen Din Din before, but I don't know what country it was in. Where are we? Please, I, I just, just like a little hint. No, I got a, I'm, I'm on a crunch time here. Why are there so many of these flags flying around? Is this just how we advertise things here? No, that doesn't help me. Fuck, I'm gonna get such a bad score this time. I'm going. I'm. I'm hoping that going down this road will help me. I am. Why? What are these flags? Why do they have stars on them? It's like a contest. Best house in town. Please, please tell me thing. It doesn't tell me anything. I'm going this way. I got under a minute. <sighs> Well, I'm just going to click Brazil because I don't fucking know. All right. This one's got me stumped completely. Congratulations. I'm going to get a terrible score. I hope you're happy that I'm going to be miserable. Schadenfreude has its consequences. It has its victims. I'm going to be one of them in a very short amount of time. Unless this sign here... Told me nothing. This is going to end up being Mexico, and I'm going to get 20 points, and I'm going to be very upset for the rest of the game. Like, this isn't Brazil. I know this score is wrong, but... Like, I don't fucking... I don't... Stop putting stars on things. This is so confusing. Here we go. Four points. Hello, Mexico. Why is this actually in this country? I don't understand anything. Hmm. All right, again, I don't know where this is. I'm going to go this way and ease into my Friday GeoGuessr. Again, these are all in subsequent order. I may have mentioned that before, but my memory is falling apart at an old age. Nice log cabin. I've always wanted a log cabin house. I think they look cool. I helped build one once. Uh, I am definitely not a homemaker, like home builder, whatever you want to call that. Okay, this is probably America. I'm going to see with the speed limit sign. That says speed limit 35. It does not say maximum, so this is probably the U.S. All right. This actually has... A blue beaver, or is that, is this actually like, see how that looks? Is this actually like here? You see what, it, it, it kind of looks like that, so we're, we'll, we'll hold out judgment just yet, but I have a hunch right now. This is definitely a part of town that may have had better days but doesn't mean I can't figure out where we are I am getting a bit concerned though that going this way isn't going to help me and I don't think I would be able to identify the f state flag of Michigan or Wisconsin for that matter because I believe it's another Blue background with the state's emblem seal thing. I'm going back this way. I got. I gotta try to figure this out. So I got less than uh, two minutes now. And this is just nondescript. The only thing I got to go on is I'm just gonna click here, but just because I saw that, I'm gonna be so wrong. But if it turns out to be close I'm gonna feel so smart and I always wondered why this Michigan took this nugget of land up here it's not even like connected I don't think yeah cuz Mackinac 
Excuse me, I'm yawning. Oh. Hey, look, it's White Boy Island. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. That's hilarious. Please. Um, that doesn't tell me anything. I got a minute now. Like this, this feels like it's super flat. Is that water out? No. Like a lot of things can be in the shape of that great lake. So this very well could be the Southwest for all I know. It's, it's flat as fuck, which I have not seen any like highway stuff. This, yeah, this isn't Northern Michigan now, but I don't have any thing to go on here. I haven't seen any root signs. Nothing. It's just flat farmland. And I can't say for certain that this isn't Northern Michigan, because I don't know what the fuck Northern Michigan looks like. Is it flat like this? This feels more Midwest than it does... Is that a Wisconsin plate? Well, we'll never know. Yeah, it was Colorado. Like, I saw nothing. And to top it off, well, we're definitely going to get a terrible score this time. And we're doing this stupid thing where the camera is shifting left even though we're going straight. And this is poor quality photo time. Like, I'm clicking forward, but we're shifting left as we go, and it's really distracting. I hate this. I thought the guess before this one was going to be the one where I got a bad score, but it turned out an American one was the one that got me because, again, I didn't see anything that told me anything. It didn't even look like Chicago if I was going to guess. I would have guessed more Midwest. I would have got a little higher score, but not enough to make a difference. And this is probably Australia. I hate how it's doing this, like, slide thing. No, like, we're going forward, but we keep shifting left, and I hate it. Well, they get flooding here. Uh, well, I'll just keep going and hope that I come across an intersection with a root sign on it so I can tell if this is South Africa. Or anything with some verbiage on it. I can tell. Okay, here we go. Mori. Colerenbri. Like, this doesn't look like road markers for Australia here. I could be wrong, but I don't fucking. I, I don't know. It's taxing me. Like, it shouldn't. I'm doing a bunch of these in a row. This. Well, if I go this way, I cannot. Isn't that funny that these actual trucks. There's probably no one ever on this road, but they actually had to stop for this one car this one time, and it just feels like every other time to go down this road, they actually don't have to wait for anybody. Uh, so, we're just stuck listening to the dulcet tones of my mouse click. Hoping I can see anything that'll tell me a bit more where we are in some level of quality. Come on. Come on. Was that a sign? Combadello. Where? Oh shit, now this is throwing me into thinking this may be South Africa. I don't think it is, but if it turns out to be, it's it would be the greatest switcheroo. We are definitely driving on the British side of the road, so... It turns out the two... God damn it. All the way back from Monday, I'm still doing that stupid burp thing. Where I'm just like, you're in the middle of talking and it stops you. Because if you try talking, what does this say? What does any of this mean? Get over this. Oh, the truck's turning. 
25 seconds. Potential. Nope. It just seems wrong, well, weird to me that a Mack truck is going on a dirt road. But I'm sure they do it all the time in Australia. It just seems weird to me that, like, giant Mack trucks would actually go on dirt roads. But that's probably 90% of what this country is, is probably just going around on dirt roads just because it's no one drives on them enough. But... Thank you, America, for giving me the worst possible score this entire week. I may have missed some cues, but I don't. I don't. I ain't got no time for that. Either way, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you could, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, tell me any ideas, suggestions, or tips that you have for anything that you'd like me to see, do, or not do. I don't know. Week's done. Congratulations, you made it. All your homework's done now. You'll have to come back uh, next week for some more. Because the world's always here, and there's always more things to guess geographically. Thank you all. We'll see you soon.